Hi there, it's Bob from Insidium here, Top Tip Tuesday time, and on today's video, I'm going to show you how you can take an asset created in Teo, so a flower, and we can add particles, emit the particles from that flower for really cool effects. So this could be used, for example, for the pollen blowing from the stamen of a flower. So let's get that clock started, and we'll begin. In our scene then we've got a couple of things. We have got a Teo plant. The Teo plant, if we have a look in the plant layers, has a trunk layer which is giving us the stem of our flower and it has a custom object on the end which we're going to replace with a flower. We also have this default Teo flower in our scene. This is completely default apart from we've put a few materials on the various parts to make it look a bit more pretty. If you go to Insidium, Teo, Teo flower, let's bring in a new one. You'll see, look, it's identical. It's the default flower. Okay, so we want this flower to be on the end of our plant and be part of our Teo plant. So the way we do that is go to the Teo plant, plant layers tab, and in the custom object, we can replace this dummy geometry with our flower by dragging it into this custom object window. Let's get our flower, drag it in, and now our uh, flower is part of the plant. If we go to the trunk layer, we have got in the modifiers tab a furling modifier here which is giving us this bend and look if i adjust that furling angle you can see look the flower is attached so it's part of the plant great so now what we want to do is we want to simulate pollen being released from these stamens so how do we emit particles from this part of the plant well we have a xp system here with nothing in it and first of all we need to connect the plant and the flower together so we're going to go to the utilities folder we're going to bring in an xp join and let's make the plant a child of the join and the flower a child of the join as well now we're going to bring in an emitter so let's create new emitter in the object tab we're going to change the shape from rectangle to object we're going to drag in our xp join as the object to emit from Let's change it from polygon center to polygon area. Then in the emission tab, um, we want not full lifespan, maybe 120, not 12, 120 frames with say a variation of 70, birth rate of maybe 300. Uh, we want no speed and these are tiny so we can make, uh, the, the flower's pretty small so we can make the particles tiny, maybe 0.1 radius. So now if we hit play, you'll see that look, we're getting particles born on our flower. Excellent. Now we want to isolate it to just the stamen. This is how we do that. We'll go to the Teo flower and in the main tab, we've got our flower layers. And in the stamen layer, we can click this button and it'll make a selection. Look, here's our poly selection. So let's go back to the emitter, object tab, and we can keep the object as the XP join that we're emitting from, but look, we can drag in this selection here. Now when we hit play, we're just getting particles from the stamen layer. Brilliant. The last thing we need to do is we only really want the particles coming from kind of the bulbous end bit of our stamen, so how might we do that? Well, if we go to our tail flower, back to those layers. What we're going to do is make a duplicate of this stamen layer. So we're going to hold control, drag it, and now we've got two stamen layers. The copy, we're going to deselect the selection because we don't need a selection for that. And we're going to make it switch it off just for now. And we're going to go back to the one that we're emitting particles from. Let's highlight it. And in the geometry tab, all we need to do is go down to our profile curve and look, this is giving us the long thin bit and then the bulbous end. All we need to do, look, is delete this point, bring this point down to zero, and now look, we've just got that bulbous end bit. And if we hit play, now we're just getting particles on those bits, which is what we want. But then if we go back to our layers list and activate our original stamen, now we get the proper shape back, but just particles from the end. Excellent. So now let's get some animation and physics into this. So we're going to go to Nexus and we're going to bring in an NX wind. And we need to match the orientation of this big fan to our flower. So let's pitch it up. We'll just eyeball this, something like that. 
and let's go to the object tab of the wind switch off the fan we don't need to look at that and these are small particles so we hardly need any strength let's put this on maybe two centimeters and now when we hit play those particles are going to start moving up which is what we want cool let's sort out this display a bit we'll go to the emitter display tab and we'll change the editor display from squares to dots and we're going to color them using a gradient parameter the gradient we want kind of a yellowy orange one so let's just use this flame but we'll get rid of the red and the black and we're going to map this colorful gradient to the speed of the particles and we're going to click it on auto so the slow ones are orange fast ones are white so now we have something like this so now we need a bit of turbulent noise so we'll go to nexus we'll bring in an nx turbulence and we're going to choose a foreign noise noise type now the scale and the strength can be really mild on this let's put it on 0.1 because they're so tiny the particles and the scale may be down to four percent something like that let's have a look yeah that's looking really cool isn't it and so obviously you can animate the petals you can animate when the particles start emitting but that is how we can emit particles from a specific part of a teo plant or teo flower